In this video we're going to be talking about how to further manipulate your shapes and uh, you know using some control points and uh, transforming your shapes and stuff like that. So I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle right off the bat just to show you kind of how this works. Uh, we can draw that out and then we can select our black arrow or V on the keyboard. Um, this is also just known as the selection tool. If you click in the kind of empty space here in the shape it can move it around. You also have these transform handles that allow you to scale up and scale down uh, these objects. If you scale that down, there you go. Uh, you can also select the middle handles to squash and stretch those out a little bit. Um, also if you wanted to, if you're scaling and you don't want any sort of uh, change in the proportions. You can hold shift to constrain the proportions and it will scale up uh, evenly. So uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about rotating the object. If we hover just outside of the control handle we can then rotate. Your cursor will change to a double arrow and it will allow you to rotate. You can hold shift to switch to uh, you know snap to uh, 45 degree increments and you know if you want to just do a quick 90 degree change you could do that very easily. Um, also let's talk a little bit about what makes up a shape and how to manipulate those. If we zoom in a little bit you can see we have these little uh, these little paths and, and anchor points and stuff like that if we grab the white arrow or the direct selection tool, it'll allow us to manipulate all the little points and paths that make up a shape. Each shape in Illustrator has uh, what are known as anchor points and paths that connect those anchor points. So if we hover over these, we can see that, that uh, this is an anchor point. Um, if we hover over a path, it'll kind of pop up there. It says path right next to your cursor. Um, if we zoom in, we can kind of see uh, that this has an empty center on this anchor point. That means it's not selected. Anything with an empty white center, uh, any anchor point rather with an empty white center, well, that just means that it's not selected. Anything with uh, a filled center on an anchor point, that means that anchor point is selected. And we can click and drag on it and move it. I'm going to undo that. Um, if we wanted to select two anchor points, you could drag a box around them. Or, I'm just going to click in the white space here to deselect that. I can drag a box around one anchor point to get the first one, and then I can hold shift to select a second. And you'll see that those two anchor points are selected, and these on the left are not, because they're white in the middle. Um, also, with the rounded rectangle, we have uh, what are called control handles. Sometimes people call these beziers or barbells or control points. Um, but these handles, basically, uh, they uh, control the curvature of um, a path. So if you think of them kind of like magnets, <coughs> excuse me, um, they kind of draw the line towards them. So you can kind of uh, create curves this way. It's a very handy tool in Illustrator. Um, and these are kind of hard to get the hang of at first, but once you start using them more, especially with the pen tool, you can kind of see a little bit further how they work. Speaking of the pen tool, let's go ahead and talk about that really quick. If we come over here into our tools panel, um, we're going to see pen tool. That's also P on the keyboard. Whoops, let me undo that. Pen tool just allows you to kind of create your own shape rather than having to use a primitive object or a line or something like that, you can just basically click and place down anchor points. And you're basically just plotting points as you go along. So I'm going to click that first point and then click again and Illustrator will draw a path between those two points. You can click again and notice that the fill is kind of auto-completing itself here. So you have to be careful with that. Typically when you're creating shapes in Illustrator, you want to make sure that they're complete shapes so that they come all the way back to the beginning anchor point. So if I hover over that, uh, I think if you zoom in a little bit, you can see it. Uh, but you have, if I hover over the first anchor point that I made, 
I'm going to get a little circle icon next to my cursor, and that means I'm going to complete the shape. So if I click on that, it will complete the shape for me. And now I can kind of go in and further manipulate it. The way that you would create an even more complex shape with the pen tool is to uh, click and drag. So let me just make my initial point. I'll just click a point there. If I click and drag, then we can see that it drags out these uh, control handles and that will create a curve for me. So remember, they work a little bit like magnets. This line wants to be pulled towards this handle. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off Smart Guides right now because they're kind of bugging me. So I'm going to go to View, Smart Guides, and get rid of those little green lines that keep popping up. So on your next curve, you can see that this handle is pulled out. So this handle is pulled out as well. And if we just click once, oh, let me do that again. Sorry. I'm going to click once here, click and drag. And if we just click one time, it will kind of create the curve for us on that other side. So we don't necessarily have to click and drag every time. Um, one thing that you don't want to do in Illustrator is to make a curve by putting a whole bunch of different points. First of all, it just looks bad. It's inefficient. Uh, if you have too many points and you're on a, uh, you don't have a, a crazy computer, you can get a lot of crashing issues. Um, I'm just going to select my black arrow and highlight that and delete it. Hit P on the keyboard to get the pen tool again. Um, you can create some pretty cool stuff. So if you click and drag, you can kind of just keep clicking and dragging all the way down to, or all the way around to your original point. And even on, let me just undo that and go back a step. If I click and drag that last point, it will create a control handle as well. Oops. And get A on my keyboard, do the direct selection tool. From there I can even go in and just kind of further adjust and tweak things as I want them. Uh, you may come to a point where you don't want, you want one side of the control handle to uh, move and not the other one. So if I wanted to move, let's just say just this control handle and I want this one to stay the same so I can keep the same curve, I can hold Alt click and drag and it will just move that individually. Uh, so that way kind of allows you to get these kind of sharper dips in your shape. Um, I'm just going to select that and delete it. Um, so yeah, for instance, uh, if you wanted to make a circle, you can click and drag and you can even hold shift to kind of straighten out those control points. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. I'm going to click and drag, hold shift. And this won't be a perfect circle, but it'll be reasonable. So for this last uh, completing um, connection here, I'm going to click and drag once again to kind of pull that back handle out a little bit. So, you know, it's, it's reasonable, I guess. And you can just come in here and kind of manipulate these different handles depending on which anchor point you have selected, uh, those handles will appear. So yeah, you kind of just move those around. Let's just say you created a shape like this, and you don't want this many points, you want to get rid of some points. With the pen tool still selected, you can hold Alt, or uh, let me see here, not Alt. It's going to be, oh yeah, plus and minus. So add anchor point, delete anchor point. Uh, and those are both pen tool functions. So I'm going to hold minus on the keyboard or just press minus to switch that mode and just click on that point and it'll get rid of it. If you end up just deleting a point, what happens is it gets rid of the path and basically the, the fill is auto-completing itself, but we, we don't have the stroke anymore there. It's kind of missing. So you want to be careful when, when you're uh, taking away or deleting different uh, anchor points. So I'm going to get the pen tool and press minus or plus, actually, this time. And uh, let's see here. You have to be pretty precise when you're adding. So it will be like right over that path. Otherwise, it's going to pop up with this message. It says, please use add anchor point on a segment of a path. 
And uh, that's just about all the time we have for this demonstration. Thanks.